Welcome back to the channel. We are back at Newport, Rhode Island at the Aldrin Museum looking at two of their incredible cars from the supercar exhibit last spring. Right in front of me, we have a 2020 McLaren 620R. Here's the plaque. Go ahead and pause it. Sorry about the small print there. Can't do much about that. But this is a rare car. It's derived from the 570S GT4 race car, and they only made 225 of these. It's considered to be one of McLaren's best track cars ever built. This is all about the aerodynamics. It's got the roof scoop, as you can see there, that's fu fully functional. It's a raw car, very radical design, uh, very serious. And it's very lightweight, just over 3,000 pounds. Or you can see the 620R badge. It's really tough with the McLarens to tell them apart, even for car enthusiasts. So many of them look so much alike. And they're close in size. But here on the spoiler, there's no missing the graphics, the 620R on the graphics there. And you can see the twin turbo V8, which is tuned with just over 600 horsepower, I believe. Interior is pretty much bare bones. You've got the Alcantara, you've got the racing carbon buckets, you've got um, there's an adjustable suspension inside. And here we go, here's the Mira, the Lamborghini Mira, one of the most important supercars of all time. This one is a 1967, which I believe was the first year. Now this this was kind of the first supercar, or one of the first supercars. And it's the, one of the only cars that can really pull off that sunken in look. Something about cars from this era, European uh, supercars, they can pull off that tucked in tire look. Modern cars cannot pull that off. So we've got a V12 designed by Bizzarini, the, v, the four liter B12, 370 horsepower, 280 torque, five speed manual. Nice looking interior, very classic, gated shifter, top speed of 174 at only 2848. That's all this thing weighs. These are very desirable and it's really beautiful in this color. They didn't make many of these. It's hard to believe, but there's a time period, I think, I wanna say it was in the 1980s, where these cars were not desirable. I remember Jay Leno on a show talking about a friend of his who just gave them, gave him his Mira because it was breaking down and they didn't really like it or it didn't have much use for it. <laughs> and now they're worth millions. But if you, you see the other cars in here, if you haven't checked out my other videos, we've covered the Vector, the F40, the 959, and that's a 959S, the McLaren F1, which is off to the right, there's a Ford GT, and we're still gonna get to the black Ferrari Enzo uh, we covered the, there's the Enzo, we, the Veyron, there's the 918, and so here we go with the rear of the Mira. You can see the louvers there. This is a California car. I'm not exactly sure who donated this one to the exhibit. So what do you think? McLaren F1, 620R, or Mira? <laughs> That's an obvious choice. You go with the McLaren. I mean, nothing else in here is worth $20 million. I mean, the Mira is probably worth, I don't know, a couple million. Comment below if you know. Here's the plaque, go ahead and pause it again. Sorry for the small type, can't do much about that. I know. This stuff is also available on the Audrain website. Hmm, love it. Iconic, this is iconic. We've got a sticker there, and off the sticker that makes it authentic. Look at the aluminum wiper blades. The mirrors mounted to the front fenders. Lamborghini badge on the front. Gotta love it. See you guys next time. That's it for today.